Okay, so we're going to be making a context-free grammar for this language, which is 0 to the n, 1 to the m, 2 to the m, 3 to the n, where n and m are at least 0. So one thing that you should always be aware of when making a context-free grammar for anything is any relationship between the counts here. So n and m are at least 0, but there's nothing in common between them, such as like n has to be greater than m or equal or whatever. Another thing that you should be aware of when making a context-free grammar is where are counts of the variables located? So one thing we should be aware of right here in this language is that the n's are on the outside and the m's are on the inside. So one thing that you could do is to look at this grammar from the inside out because it's somewhat looking in that particular way because the ends are on the outside and the inner counts are over here. So the ends, if we look at them in isolation, we can easily make a context-free grammar for that because we can just make a one on one side, a two on the other side, and then just quit at some point with the empty string. For this part, I'm going to have a variable called x make that part. So x is going to make one x two or empty. And that's essentially the same thing as zero to the n, one to the n, but instead I'm substituting one and two here. How do we build this thing up? Well, if we look at those parts in isolation too, it's essentially the same idea, but with a zero on the front and a three on the end. But the difference here is that the x part, whatever x makes, is on the inside and is completely separate from this. So whenever the grammar decides, okay, I want to start working on the ones and twos, we need to stop making the zeros and threes because there are no zeros and threes in the middle. So I'm going to have a variable called s be making this part, the whole thing, which is going to be 0s1, so that's, oh, not 1, that should be a 3, so 0s3, so that's making a 0 on the front, 3 on the end, and then just working our way in, and then eventually we want to start making the 1s and 2s, and that's handled by x here. So I need to be able to switch over and then not have any way of going back up here because I don't have 0s and 3s in the middle. And I should also note that this is the start variable and not x.